Welcome, future pioneers. We're excited that you're interested in attending Vol State. You can access the admissions application by going to volstate.edu and then clicking on the apply button. To start, create your login ID and PIN. Follow the criteria listed below the fields. Be sure to save this information. If you don't complete it in one sitting, you can use it to resume your application later. If you've previously applied, you can just create new information to start your new application. Carefully read the description for each student type and select the one that best describes you. If you've never attended college before, you'll be the first student type. Note, if you previously dual enrolled, you'll need to reapply in order to update your student type from dual joint enrollment to new to college degree seeking. If you're an adult learner who has attended college prior, you are likely a transfer student. If the only college you attended prior was Ball State, then you can select returning student. Here, we'll select our admissions term and provide our name. This is our checklist where we can track our progress. If you're unable to complete the application in one sitting, you can click Finish Later to save your progress and resume later with your login ID and PIN. When we're finished, we'll click Application is Complete to submit. Let's start with our name. Indicate any suffix, previous last name, or preferred first name, and then indicate whether you previously attended or previously applied. Enter your address information. The address is being verified, so if it gets rejected, just use the box right below County to enter your address for us. Then be sure to include your cell phone number so that we can communicate with you. You want to put the area code in the first box and the remainder of the phone number in the second box. Next, enter your mailing address. If it's the same information as your permanent address, then simply enter the information again. Progress through the personal information page and complete the indicated fields. Non-U.S. citizens should select an option in the Visa drop-down box and enter their visa and international information. U.S. citizens are only required to answer the last three questions on this page. Next, you can select your major and associated concentration. You'll notice some options include the letters AAS, AS, and TTP. AAS indicates an option that is designed for students planning to enter the job market immediately upon graduation to advance their career. AS is meant for students who desire to earn a bachelor degree at a four-year college or university. The TTP option is for students who want to complete the required courses, earn an associate's degree, and then transition seamlessly as a junior to a university. Choose the option that looks closest to your intended major. Don't worry, you can always update this if needed. Look up and enter your high school code below. If you need to enter GED, international, or homeschool information, refer to the codes at the top of the page. Next, you'll indicate your graduation date. If you don't know the exact day, just enter the first of the month. Students are required to provide an official copy of their high school transcript. You can read and mark yes to agree to this. Here, we'll read and answer the listed questions. If you answer no to the question asking if you've always lived in Tennessee, be sure to indicate when you moved here. Leaving this section blank could cause you to be flagged as out-of-state, charged out-of-state tuition, and require you to go through a process to prove in-state residency. Indicate which campus you plan to attend by selecting yes or no to the options. If you mark no to all of the options, you will be defaulted to the Gallatin campus. If you're registered with Selective Service, mark yes. Men register if they're 18 years old. Women are not required to register. The last few questions are optional. You can indicate your parents' highest level of education, household income, and household size. On the final page, the Continue button will take us back to the checklist page. You'll see the finished sections marked as complete. 
When you're satisfied with all the sections, click Application is complete. Read the admissions agreement and then click I agree to the terms to continue. Now your application is submitted. Thoroughly read this page and submit the indicated documents in order to be fully accepted. Congratulations on completing the first step. These are the main items requested of students. Final high school transcripts, ACT scores, and proof of citizenship, which can just be a picture of your Tennessee driver's license, emailed to admissions at vaultstate.edu. Upon submitting your application, you'll be sent a letter in the mail that contains your account information. Follow the instructions in the letter in order to activate your student portal and track your status. Again, we're excited that you chose to apply to Vol State. If we can help along the way, please don't hesitate to email us at admissions at volstate.edu or call us at 615-230-3688. If you're an adult learner, you can find additional support and resources by emailing alva at volstate.edu or calling 615-230-3447.